Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Michelle Rose from Real Reality TV Discovery. I'm going to show you and prove to you how over 20 reality TV shows were stolen from me in Melbourne, Australia. Over 20 reality TV shows worldwide are registered in Australia. All the connections is there to prove my case. I hope to get your support for my channel to listen to me so I can keep going ahead and prove how members of the community deceived and bullied one single mom in order for them to gain financial gain for their financial gain all right so I went through many shows in the, the, in the previous episodes so Australian next top model as I was working on Australian next top model uh, sorry, America Next Top Model, Australia Next Top Model. As I was working on the name Top Model, I discovered the name for it. It was already offered to Tyra Banks to take part of creating creating the show, so everybody will think that she created the show. Tyra Banks, at that stage, was still in 2003 with Victoria's Secret, and she didn't know where her career will come because she will go because she started to be a bit older and she didn't feel like she can continue or they didn't want her to continue in Victoria's Secret. Given her credit, she was an amazing, amazing model. She will always, always will be, but uh, who else is better to run this part than uh, Tara Banks? And uh, no one will notice, nobody will know that maybe she didn't create the concept and they gave her the face of their production company to keep it all quiet. The same with the Simon Cow, and the same they um, created many other shows and the Master Chef here in Australia and Australia Top Model as well. So please let's get into it. All registrations for American and Australian Top Model. It's uh, next Top Model and Top Model all register in Australia. Trademarks, copyright, all register in Australia. Register trademark in Australia. Not anywhere around the world, but in Australia, Melbourne, Victoria, and Sydney as well. It depends where the company moved. Two thousand and twelve registered in Australia. We're talking about Australia. Next top model. So all the documents, all the legal documents, are in front of me and registered in Australia, not in America. So if they have any legal issue, they have to go to the Australian legal team. Four judges, celebrities, boot camp, voting, competition, training. Four judges. If you see three and five, please laugh because it's really funny. The concept is four, always been four, always stay four. That's the franchise contract that they have. Unless they're afraid to go to court, they're afraid to be proven wrong. I would take every single one of them to a lie detector to see how they lied to the public and for their financial gain. Every one of their hosts received millions and millions of dollars and the production company made billions and billions of dollars and they merged with Murdoch. Elizabeth Murdoch, Sarah Murdoch, took part of America over Australian next top model, which they think it was created by Tara Banks, but because Sean lawyers, okay, so this is how it goes, Mark and Carl Fennessy are brothers. Mark Fennessy worked as a lawyer in Shine Lawyers. Elizabeth Murdoch owned Shine Lawyers. So together, they own a production company, which I didn't know. And this is how they started stealing all of my shows to produce them as I was the potential client. I was an easy target. I was used. I was abused. And I was isolated because of them for over 10 years. They stole the most beautiful years of my life to be able to create for the world to become a better place, to create a better community, to showcase talent, not only stars, because I wanted to be one of them. And this is how it all started. So I'm going to finish this session. I'm going to see you in the next session. Session. Thank you very much for coming. It's getting more interesting. Kardashian is part of it as well.
stay with me, support me without you I can't run this channel. Thank you so much for your time. Michelle Rose, Melbourne, Australia.